Those blinds are actually quite uh, transparent. So you can sleep with those. Like uh, the sun shining through that. Interesting. Yeah, don't worry about the mess. Everybody has mess, my friend. It's only the weirdos that clean every day. Uh oh. No issues. I think I owe like three deaths. That's cool then. That's cool. Gotta respect that. It's gotta take some um, stamina in order to uh, deal with sleeping at 7 a.m. Although, to be fair, like getting up at four to walk the dog and then working for eight hours or whatever it is has its toll. As in, I would definitely go to sleep. If I could. <laughs> Would you just stop being an idiot? There's more than one of you, I know. There we are. Here we go. And then we can go... Wait, is he going to drop down? What do you reckon? He's got like a... Is that his tongue? That is his tongue. That's crazy. Uh oh. See, the penetrating sword is so good. It's so good. It just owns when you use it right. Heal. Yeah, too close. Yeah, I know. I... I should have, uh... Prefaced before I, I, I bigged it up. If you're skilled at this game, this sword is amazing. If you're like me, uh, you're not going to find any solace in the sword. Uh oh, uh oh. Danger, Will Robinson. Stop being naughty with fire. Uh, Late you get to bed outside edge cases is 9 a.m. So it's lights out, but an, it's a north facing window. So the sun never hits it directly. Oh, we, we don't have um, that. I mean, we face south. Like I'm facing maybe south. There's a compass on my phone.
There isn't a compass on my phone. There should be a compass on my phone. I think I face south. I could be wrong. I think the sun goes over us. Oh, no, we don't. Northwest. Northwest. So, that's north. So then the sun goes that way over us. So it kind of hits all our windows. Essentially. Most of our windows. Uh, the sun stays more south in the winter. Okay. I did not know that. For my own purposes, the sun basically, on a normal weekday stream, the sun hits this window, as in the one, the only window to this room, pretty much exactly when I don't want it to even do that. Which is very frustrating. I'm sure I picked up that soul before. The sun only goes you over you in the tropics. Ah. I didn't know that. I've never been abroad, and I didn't know that. But for some reason, I had the wrong impression of what the sun does. Okay. There's some big fat blobs there. We must go down for some loot here. Send it. Send it. Saints boots. Hmm. Oh, that's very kind, Ethereal. Very kind. I'd like to go abroad one day. Just, um... Obviously not around now. <laughs> Even if I was able to. I think it's... Oh, uh, there's rats down here. There's rats. That gave me a, a disease or something. Oh, there's also a lady. I mean, one wonders what <laughs> what her kid is. But, uh, yeah, you do you, lady. Yeah, there are all the warnings about the rats. Yeah, plague. I couldn't get rid of the plague, actually. I didn't think I had, um... A thing on me. Yeah, and that guy killed me. Uh-oh! Okay. Dang nabbit. Ugh. Stretchy time. Actually, I think I'll go get a new drink. Uh, I'll be back in one minute, guys. I won't be long. You can get the atmospheric noise that is uh, Demon Souls. Uh, yeah, hydrate. Ethereal's right. It needs to be done. Won't be long.
I pressed the wrong button. I was like, what the hell? I just, I basically fat fingered my stream deck thing. <laughs> that's, that's me fat fingering it. Nothing to apologize for there, uh, Panic. And nothing to panic about. I'm sure everything's going to be okay. Although, I guess it... Well, no, I can't guarantee it will be, but... The mic's not even pointing towards me. There we go. Hey, Muffin. I am good, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, I do well. I do well. Well, I defeated two bosses, so that's a good thing. Uh, however, I'm now in a swamp. Being murdered by little... I don't know, is it racist to call them pygmies? Crazy guys with big tongues. If the sun was over you, the earth would be tilted about 50 degrees, which means the sun is angled south of you. The sun is above the equator. Ah. It is more than a stream average, yeah. It's not racist? Okay, good. Are they even real? Like, or are they like, um, elves? I mean, they were... They were kind of in films, but I i don't think I've ever heard about them in real life. It is a real thing. Okay, good. Oh, God. Oh, he's, he's dead. I need some way to deal with the plague. I don't think I have any of those flowers, do I? Oh, there we go. I have a Widow's Lotus. One plague counteract. The whole solstice thing is when the sun hits the Tropic of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer. It oscillates between them. In anthropology, pygmy peoples are ethnic groups whose average height is unusually short. Huh. Uh, maybe they maybe do what they did in medieval times. Pray the plague away. I was um, I was watching some shows during the weekend on and off because I was basically just sleeping. You know, you ever like put a show on, like a TV show, and just fall asleep. Basically, that's mostly what I do during the weekend. Um, but it was talking about leprosy and uh, how they couldn't do anything for people with leprosy, and they would just hope. The people... Well, actually, no. Leprosy, they knew people wouldn't get better. So they just... They just quarantined them away from people. They just put them away and just hoped that by leaving them away from society, other people wouldn't get leprosy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I forgot that was in Darkest Dungeon. Great game. Have we heard anything about the new Darkest Dungeon? Apart from that trailer they had? That was a trailer or something, wasn't there? Pretty sure. Twenty twenty two? Okay. There we go. Oh <laughs> well, I don't have an opinion well I do have an opinion. I don't really care for Epic Store. 
But I don't mind it. Like... If some, if someone wants to profit from selling my data to the Chinese or whomever, go for it. They too will know I'm a very dull person. Do you know what I mean? To Google. <laughs> uh, isn't leprosy the deadening of nerves? So you don't know whether you got injured and treated... No, so basically the, the the way they described it on the show, leprosy is like a biological disease thingy uh, that basically makes you fall apart. So it, it grows in certain areas of the body and those areas become dead and you essentially die from falling apart. Or at least that's what it was... It was it was described to uh, to me as. A lot of famous people had leprosy in the past. Uh, a lot of kings. Because you can hide it well. I should just face it. I'm going to get the plague. How did you move so quick? Uh, leprosy is something between extreme cysts and necrosis in terms of what it does. Ah, well, it's similar to what I described here. Bacteria is the word I was looking for, yes. Yes. Yeah. There was a, there was a story about um, this guy who managed to hide the fact he had a leprosy and got a law degree. I can't remember which country it was. But basically, the story goes that... Um, he... Um, once found out that he had leprosy... He was sent to a leper colony. And... Um, And uh, he then took, a, took it upon himself to fight for the rights of lepers. Like, get better treatment for the people who were diagnosed with le leprosy. It was a really sweet story, actually, because the guy was like... The living conditions was like basically Mad Max style in leper colonies. Where people were just out for themselves. And they were just... Fight. Uh. Uh. Leprology. <laughs> Is it still moving? Oh, it's my sword. Where are these rats? I've got a ring for plague, don't I? Can I wear, wear two? Ah! Oh! I don't want plague! 